PowerPoint isn't usually thought of as a game engine, but I'm gonna put that to the test and attempt to make an interactive horror game that's just as scary as one made with a popular engine. Here's the plan. In the game, your body parts have been scrambled in the underworld and you need to collect them to escape. So I started by making some environments and characters in clip drop and placing them on my first slide. I want the player to interact with the skeleton dude then have some text pop up describing the story and the goal. And the easiest way to get player input is by clicking with the mouse. Now PowerPoint has a few super cool animations that we can use where we can configure how and when they will trigger. Setting the animation to on click will start the animation when the player has clicked anywhere on the slide. I found that with triggers, you can actually be way more specific and have the animation be played when you click on the image itself. You can also add more customization like a time delay, how fast the animation plays and sound effects, which is perfect for our game. Now we can chain different animations to start when the previous one has finished using the animation pane. I added some text that pops up after clicking the character and simulates a typewriter effect, which is a built-in feature and pretty cool. Maybe because it's PowerPoint though, but I was struggling to chain all of the text correctly so that one paragraph would begin after the previous one would finish and then they would all disappear at the end. I also added audio when the slide begins and this weird alien language I made with 11 labs when the text starts. Mr. Douglas. Okay. Now I really want a dramatic entrance to my game, but there's only so much we can do with PowerPoint. They do have some transitions between the slides, but they're a bit much. Okay. That's when I found out about zoom slides. No, not that kind of zoom. Go away, go away. These let you display a preview of any slide you pick, and when you click on them, it zooms into the PowerPoint and has this funky fly-through effect. Helicopter, heli Although it's kind of ugly to have a preview of the next slide on the screen, but luckily we can change the image of the zoom slide. So I put a transparent PNG to seal the deal. Then I went to Runway ML to create a small video animation of my scene where I described the image. Whoa, that looks creepy as heck. Then made that appear after the text. But I spent way too long on this first slide. But hey, you gotta make good first impressions, right? Now for some actual gameplay, I created a slide for each room, then linked them together by placing a transparent PNG on the sides and adding an action which lets us define what happens when we click on it. And with this, we can easily traverse through our map. We want to collect our body parts scrambled throughout the underworld. So I made some with clip drop and magic wand them in Photoshop to remove the background. I thought it looked a little boring though. And I wanted some gushy intestine like movement in them, you know? Say what? So I went to another tool called Pika Labs, which is newer and similar to the other video one I used for the first slide and dropped in my images along with a description of the gush that I wanted. But since it's free, there's a lot of people trying to use it, so it's gonna take some time. In the meanwhile, let's go back over to PowerPoint and try to implement a creepy light flicker. Now this was challenging because how do we randomly trigger some darkness in a PowerPoint application? <laughs> Which is uh, not fun to code in, by the way. That's right, we can actually code in PowerPoint. What? Using something called macros. Macros are like actions, but programmable. By pressing Alt F11, we can open the editor and write our code. It's a little tricky, but we can make a black slide and using a random number generator, we can decide to go to that slide, wait for a bit, then go back to our current slide. One problem I found though, is that we can't just run a macro when a presentation begins. I looked around and there was an add-in someone made that lets you, but it looks super sus. And I wanna make my game easy to play without needing any extra extensions. So as a workaround, I decided to trigger it in each scene by placing a transparent image, then adding an action so that when we hover over it, it begins the macro. Sweet. Oh, the Pika Labs. I think that's done now. Okay, some don't look great, but we can manage. I took them to Premiere Pro and removed their backgrounds as best I could, then dragged it onto the slides. Now, when you click on them, they play a super cool animation and disappear. Although I did notice the GIFs were extremely laggy, which my first thought was because of the limitations of PowerPoint. Here's where it got a little complicated. I originally wanted the player to collect all of the body parts to escape, so I had to keep track of the body parts somehow. Obviously, the first thought that comes to mind is with code and macros, but I soon found out a fatal flaw. When you click the body part and the random darkness would flip Flicker. because it was like we were on that slide again for the first time, the object would spawn again, which would mess up the counter. So I pivoted. I removed my precious light flicker. Oddly enough, this fixed the extreme lag issue. And then I thought, if PowerPoint doesn't let me implement my game design, let me change my game to fit the limitations of PowerPoint. So now the doors to the other rooms would only appear once you collect the body part. 
and I lead the player in such a way that they are forced to collect all of the parts to continue to the end. The body parts now stayed gone when you clicked on them, even when going to different slides. So in hindsight, the light flicker was probably causing all of my problems. In one of the slides, I programmed a macro so that you would have to collect two of the body parts to advance, but I wanted to make the game a little scarier, so I decided to add a jump scare when you collect the second item. Then for the final boss, I decided to make it super creepy. Now that my game is done, my friend Polly Mars will play it and let us know if it's the the best PowerPoint game to ever exist. All right, so Sam Yem sent me a horror game to play, but I'm a little bit scared because I had to disable my entire antivirus just to open this file. If this genuinely manages to scare me, I will be impressed. It literally just, just looks like a PowerPoint presentation. Why is my mom calling me? I'm sorry. Mom, I'm in a Sam Yem video right now. This is important. This is my big break, okay? All right, I did not know he could put music in a PowerPoint presentation, but it's a little scary. Why would his ears have... Like, we don't have bones in our ears, so why would a skeleton have ears in the first place? Let alone giant elephant size. Okay, um... Hello, chump. Welcome to the underworld, a place where misfits get dismembered and forever forgotten. Your entrail should be scattered around. It's the only way to escape. Oh, and beware of the hounder. The hounder. What is the hounder? What is this? I like the, is this like an AI video? Wait, is this? I did not know you could put 3D models in PowerPoint. Is this a model? Maybe it's not, I don't know. It's fancy though. Okay, so I picked up something. Oh, is this not working? Oh no, we're good. I, I just went downstairs or something. <laughs> Why is it so, ew, it's so, the animation is way too detailed. Ew, that's disturbing me. Why does it look like that? Okay. All right, I picked up another one. Oh, you can go to the left or the right. Oh, I went I went to another room. Okay. Collect more meat. Where did you I don't understand where these come from? Like like whoever made these these images. How do you even get these? They're just four. Okay, it's Okay. It, I, it's, it's not, it's not, it, I wasn't scared. I wasn't scared. It would be dumb if I was scared by a PowerPoint presentation. It just, I just didn't, I didn't see it coming. I found another one. So I see we're going through rooms and it's basically just like a normal horror game and collect items like Slender, like Bali's Basics, like the greatest game of all time, Sussy School Grounds. The only place I can go now is into the skeleton head. At least this one doesn't have stupid giant ears though. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> ew, ew, ew. Ew, what is this? What are, are these like AI gen? No, it's, it looks 3D. This is like genuinely 3D. I'm so disturbed. You've put yourself back together. How cute. Okay. Oh, I get it. I am, I'm a skeleton. I was collecting the flesh to put myself back together. And this is me. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I never thought this guy was gross. He's actually really handsome and cool. <laughs> Yo, chill. <laughs> Why does he look like that? <laughs> Don't do it again. Did I win? I think I won. Yeah, I think I won. Don't do it again. Okay, okay. I, I, I just forgot, I just forgot. I just forgot about that part. I forgot about that part. And there we go. You know, I didn't think it was possible to make a horror game in PowerPoint, but this did scare me um, like three times, four times. So I guess it counts.